Coming to the graveside is such a powerful place for me. To stand over an open grave with someone that you love there, ready to be lowered, it's such a final thing. It reminds us of the finality of death. And when we consider the account of Jesus' death, it says that he was crucified, dead, and buried. Why did they include the word buried? I think they did for several reasons. Uh, one of them is because that it shows that Jesus really did die and took away any kind of argument that Jesus didn't die for us. Another reason is that it shows that God's love and his justice has been fulfilled. A third reason is that the accusation, the condemnation, and the curse of sin has truly been broken. It, it has been buried uh, deep down with Christ. And we who have a relationship with him, uh, that curse and that accusation and that guilt is gone. The final reason is that it really lays the groundwork for the resurrection that we're going to celebrate in just a few days. When you think of burying someone six feet down and the idea of that person and that body be rising to life again, it's truly a miracle and really only an act of the God of the universe. It's important to understand that Jesus was buried. Now, as we've contemplated the question, Lord, teach me how to die, and the fact that we've been buried with him, that's pretty significant. It says to us that the old person that we were is also gone, is dead. Uh, that person is out of action, is powerless, is dead. We are dead with Christ. It also says that the love and justice that God has for us has been truly fulfilled. Uh, we don't have to do anything anymore. Just the fact that we have a relationship with Jesus, we are free. And finally, the, the accusation and the guilt that we often feel from the sin of our past or people around us, it is powerless, it is baseless. We have a new identity in Christ. And so in this verse seven that uh, we conclude with, it says, for the one who has died is declared free from sin. Uh, that's you and I. And so we can think of our old person dead and buried, and we can anticipate this incredible miracle of resurrection that is yet to come. So just like before, we'd like to lead you into another song of reflection. If this has resonated with you, that you are intertwined with the death of Christ and the life of Christ, and that you have been buried with him, if this is something you want for your life, I invite you to come to the altar and lay your life down.